Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about something that I noticed in Civilization VI. If you have both the DLCs, this is a thing that happens, which is there's a lot of different metas, right? Like, I've put in a lot of hours into the original version of Civ VI. A bit of time into the first DLC and like two, two games into the next one, okay? And what I noticed is there's a lot of metas. Like, a lot. There's a lot to take in, okay? I'm, like, I'm pretty sure every tile in the game, grassland, maybe not grassland because it's grassland, but like forest, jungle, river, uh, mountain, hill, maybe even plains. Like, there's a civilization that utilizes a type of tile, right? So there's a lot of mess and every like everything a city can produce now food production gold whatever there's a civilization that has a meta for that and is it too much right is there too many metas to this game no there's not too many metas for this game i think there is it's just fine i am really happy with the fact that you can take anything and meta it. Yeah, there's stuff that's better than others, right? I think there's balancing issues, right? Like any civilization, religious, cultural, whatever, science is like king, it seems. Science is always king in civilization. Science and production, right? Like even though America is based on culture, if you're Germany, right, and you play your cards right, you have all this production and gold, production and gold, and then you could go for culture and build all your culture buildings super fast. And then after you build your culture building super fast, you can build an okay defensive military, right? Like, you probably are going to outplay the Americans unless you are just slow. You get bad luck. Or Sundok of Korea. You could pick, like, it's just science with Sundok, right? There's no real way of, like... It's science. You research everything faster, right? You just do. And then you can beat people and take their cities, right? Which I think civilizations always had a science meta and a city meta, right? Like, that's the baseline you need that to happen. But I think that, like, now there's so many metas that it's, it's really fun. You know, I heard... I watched this YouTube video once about Civilization VI, and how, or Civilization, sorry, and how it's like the king of 4K strategy games. But there's other 4K strategy games that take metas to a whole new level where you pick these civilizations in these other ones and they're just super specialized, different play styles completely, and it's like taking the same game and learning it again. And I like that. I like, you know, games where it's super complex metas, like right? Rainbow Six Siege even like the base pieces are the same right everyone let's say like well not everyone but if you're like if you're a nerd like me and you have all the operators ev everyone gets the same set of operators how you use them in the metas within though is really where you shine same with civilization six is there's enough metas in the game to where like you can learn like a gold civilization then you can play the production civilization and whatnot and I like that it's not so complex where, like, if you learn a civilization like the Zulu, right? Even though, like, I hated encampments, the Zulu, you kind of, like, have to build, it seems, encampments. Then I learned better encampment strategy with the Zulu. So then I take that into account. Then if I play a nation, like, I, like, just one where I end up having to build some encampments... That's in my mind that I know how the encampments would work better than if I just didn't use them at all, you know? So interesting thing there. And I, I just, the metas are dope. It's dope that there's a lot of ways to play because you can also learn, if you learned all the ways to play, imagine the power alliances you could do or you could manipulate people, right? Like if you know, like in a multiplayer game, someone's playing uh germany and they have that that first hansa and that first commercial hub and you like build a city and make it so they can't do a double hansa double commercial hub right whereas like if you were playing someone else 
like uh, Zulus, we'll just use that as an example, and you like build a city next to them so they can't build an encampment close to you. You know? Just things like that to keep in mind when you play the, the game. And that, that's really it for this video, guys. That's my take on the metas. I love that there's a lot of metas, and I want it to, I wish they were, I wish they were even more specialized, to be honest, but hey, what can you do with civilization, right? That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Civilization 6. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I said make.